Hey guys, how is it going today on this beautiful fall day? Um, I wanted to hop on here. If you guys don't know me, my name is Elizabeth Tassoni and I'm friends with Teresa. And um, I wanted to share a really easy and simple DIY air freshener jar. Um, I've made this before, so this is actually an old one and I'm going to refill it and resent it. And so I thought I would just kind of show you how I do it and um, hopefully inspire you guys to get creative and do a DIY. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. And I'm going to refill it up and get some fresh scent in here. Um, so what you will need is some kind of jar. I've got a mason jar here. Um, I'm going to undo this now as I'm talking to you. You're going to need um, some kind of fabric. I have a burlap here, so it has nice open holes so you can smell um, the oil better through it. Um, you'll need, if you want it to be pretty, you'll need some ribbon. Um, I use this, I don't even know what this stuff is called, but um, I got it yet. I think at Hobby Lobby. Um, like this little raffata tie, but you could certainly use like hemp cording or rope or pretty ribbon or whatever. And I'm doing an autumn one. That's what we did um, at the make and take that I made this at. Um, but you could certainly do it different for Christmas. You could do it different for Easter. You could totally change up the decor. You're going to need a rubber band. So that's the rubber band and then fabric. And you could use like a pretty cotton or a print or something like that too. I just have burlap because um, I was going for kind of the fall look. So all you need is baking soda. So I actually measured out some more because I don't know why I didn't fill this more full, um, but I'm gonna fill it up a little bit more with some baking soda. So just, you know, Arm & Hammer, whatever, um, you know, the Family Dollar brand, whatever kind of baking soda, really cheap, right? Baking soda is a natural um, odor. You know, it sucks up bad odors. That's why people put a box in their fridge and things like that. And then this year, I'm going to add some Epsom salts. So Epsom salts you can find at Walgreens, at the grocery store, by like the peroxide, um, CVS, any kind of pharmacy type store, and they're really reasonable, great for taking baths to add essential oils into. Um, and I wanted to add some in, in here only because um, Epsom salts seem to suck in the oils, and I'm wondering if it's going to make the scent last longer um, because I'm going to add some awesome fall scented oils in here, and then I'm going to set it in my room, and not only will the baking soda draw out bad smells but the oils then you can smell um and it smells really good so i added some epsom salts i'm going to mix them up after but i want to pour the essential oils right on the epsom salts because they kind of suck up the oil um and i'm hoping it's going to make like i said the scent last a little longer so oils i'm going to use um i want this to smell very pumpkin spicy so i'm going to add um orange is a great one um i'm going to add about um, seven drops of orange and then cinnamon. No fall recipe is complete without amazing cinnamon bark. You guys, Young Living's oils smell so good and you only need a little bit. My cinnamon is almost out because I've been using it a lot in the diffuser right now. Um, cinnamon's a hot oil, just so you know. Um, so it's not one that you usually want to just get on your face or on your hands because it, it makes your skin feel really warm. Um, but I'm taking out the little um, reducer so I can get the last couple drops out. But I'm going to do about three or four drops of cinnamon. And cinnamon is pretty strong smelling. So it's so smells so perfect this time of year, especially mixed with orange or anything like that. I've got nutmeg. Um, and I am going to add three drops of nutmeg. Well, I have to do the same thing. I'm almost out of nutmeg, so I'm going to take out that little reducer. If you are an oil user, make sure you know that trick. You can still get several more drops out of your bottle um, just by taking this little thing out. And then I'm going to add a drop of ginger. Now, ginger is a pretty strong smelling oil. Um, if you've cooked with ginger or you've eaten ginger, um, you might know what it smells like or tastes like for that matter. And so I'm, I only add about a drop of ginger because it can be very powerful and it's not 
quite as pleasant smelling as cinnamon and nutmeg are, um, but it does add that little holiday pumpkin pie kind of scent. So I'm just going to add one drop of ginger and super easy. Just stir it up. So I'm going to stir that up really good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell through um, the computer. Now you could if you wanted to add some spices for color like you could add some cinnamon powder um, just for that kind of like autumn looking brown you know color to here or some ginger nutmeg um, seasoning as well you could add that in here but so oh my gosh it smells so good so then you would just put the fabric on the top and add the rubber band and like I said, you could use any kind of fabric. I like the burlap because it has the holes. Um, so you feel like you can really smell it good through there. Um, and then I had like a little leaf that I got um, from Hobby Lobby. I got like a bunch of different leaves and flowers and different things that I use for decoration. And I just tucked that in the rubber band. Like it has a little wire, you know, like a, a fake flower or whatever you wanted to do. That's optional. You know, you can do it however you want. So like that. And then um, I originally already, this is already tied, but I, the first time had to tie it. But I'm just going to pop it over there like that. And then I'm going to add the brown one I was able to untie. So I'm just going to add the brown one on there and tie it close to the leaf and I'll show you the finished product. But now if it was Christmas time, you could do pine, um, you could do northern lights, black spruce, um, cinnamon is a great one at Christmas time as well. Uh, let's see, let me think of some other ones. Um, Christmas Spirit is an amazing oil that people use around Christmas time. That's a Young Living blend that's already mixed up. And it has, I think, cinnamon, spruce, and orange in it. So that smells so amazing. Um, so you could change it up and I could put like a little um, pine, you know, needle and maybe a green ribbon here. But I'm just going to set this out and I could... I could make several for my house. So I could put some in my living room, some in my office. Um, but I had this one sitting in my office and then it smells like beautiful pumpkin spice. Cute little decoration, really easy. These are fun to gift um, and you can change it up for each season. So just a great way to freshen up a room naturally without any toxins, without any chemicals um, and using these amazing oils. And you guys, each one of these drop bottles, I don't know if you're familiar, how familiar you are with Young Living, but the 15 milliliter bottle has um, 250 drops, I believe. And the five milliliter has, I think it's close to like 90 drops or something like that. So you can get a lot, a lot of uses out of these little bottles using them in your diffuser and using them for cooking and using them for all different kinds of things like making cool DIY air fresheners. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little DIY. If you're a crafty person, um, you might enjoy making these or gifting them or doing it with a, some friends for fun. So, all right guys, have a great day. Bye.